Hello and welcome to Warrior Chat. I'm Erica Thomas. The show is designed to give the community a glimpse into some of the many great things we have going on in our school district. Today we want to spend some time talking to Mr. Andy Warren and Ms. Sue Barnhart. They were recently presented the Outstanding Teacher Award by Shippensburg University. Congratulations to you both. What does it mean to you to be given this award? I think it's a great honor and really it's, it's nice to see that anytime your hard work is recognized but most importantly, I think that um, it, it's nice to also bring other members of the faculty into that celebration because I think that Mrs. Barnhart would probably agree neither one of us would be here without our administrators, other teachers that we've worked with over the years that have helped us improve in our own careers as teachers. It definitely is an honor, and um, as Andy said, um, you know, we're a team, we all work together. I know teaching first grade, um, we plan together, we support each other. So I feel that this is not just an award for me, but all of the people that you know, I work with who have been there along the way. This is a 14th straight year a teacher from our school district has won this award. What do you think this says about our school district? I think we have a lot of great people here in our district, and um, it just goes to show if that many people have been recognized that we're doing good things, and um, it's evident. Yeah, I think it just shows that year after year, I think teachers are continuously inspired by the work of, the, of their teammates and their, and their peers in the classroom to continue to get better year after year. Mr. Warren, give us a little background into your tenure here at the school district. Well, this is my eighth year teaching at SMS. Um, prior to that, uh, I was a high school student at York Suburban. Hopefully people don't hold that against me. And then I went on to uh, Penn State University. And I did my student teaching actually as an exchange student in Sweden. So it was a really cool, unique experience for me to travel abroad and, and interact with people from other countries and cultures. Um, that eventually brought me back to Pennsylvania, where after a couple of interviews, I got the seventh grade social studies position at SMS. And since then, I've been teaching both seventh grade world history and eighth grade US history. And it's, it's a lot of fun to have that variety at the middle school level of both age levels and teaching different subjects. It's a lot of fun. Ms. Barnhart, what about you? Um, well, I started here as a student. Um, I went through Friendship Elementary and um, graduated from Susquehannock. Um, and then I went on to Millersville, got my teaching degree, and I was fortunate enough when I was looking for a job that I was hired at Southern Elementary um, 23 years ago. And I taught at Southern Elementary for 12 years. And then um, I came to Friendship, and that's where I've been. Um, so it's nice to be back home, and um, my children went there as well. So it, it's just been a nice home feel, and um, I'm happy to be teaching first grade there. Do either of you have any family ties to the school district? Well, I, um, as I said, was um, a student. My father went through Susquehannock also. Um, lots of my aunts and uncles. Um, my brothers graduated from here, and then now my children. I have a daughter that's a junior, um, one that's a freshman, and then a fifth grader. Other than quarterbacking the Trojans against the Warriors in the late 90s, that's about it for my connections, although I did teach Mrs. Barnhart's son, Matt, last year in eighth grade U.S. history. Can you give us an example of a unique lesson that you teach and the impact it has on your students? Um, one unique lesson that I do, or I guess a series of lessons that I do throughout the year, is I think that any time, especially in social studies, that you can use pop culture in the classroom. It's a really cool way to get kids excited about what they're learning. Um, we learn in seventh grade about a conqueror named Alexander the Great, and after we've researched his life, we listen to a song by the band Queen called I Want It All, and we kind of examine how that song could be a soundtrack to his life. And finally, when you do unique things like that that are just a little bit out of the norm, students really respond well to that, so that would be an example. Um, over the years, I've been pen pals with different sports teams here at Susquehannock, and this past year, I, my class was a pen pal with the girls' soccer team. And it was kind of neat because um, one of the girls that was on the soccer team was also one of my students years ago. So she had the chance to be on both ends of it. And I think it's wonderful because it shows the kids a real life application to writing skills. Mm -hmm. And they were able to communicate back and forth. We went to a game. We showed support for the team. And I know that some of those kids have continued to write even though school ended and everything. And they've continued their pen pals. So that's been really neat. You know, I think any time you can, you can bring those types of experiences to students, things that are just outside of the classroom, they respond really well to that. How has teaching changed since you both first started working here in the school district? Teaching has changed a great deal, and I would probably say the biggest way that it's changed is in, in terms of technology. And I just mm -hmm. think back to, it's not that long ago, only 
about 10 years ago that I was a college student. It's changed so much since then um, over the years as far as what students are capable of accomplishing and, and not just using technology to get information, but using technology to create and, and problem solve. It's really cool what's capable. I would agree with Andy on that. Um, when I first started teaching, I myself was not a very computer literate person, and I kind of shied away from you know using my, the computer with my students. And now, um, over the years, I've had different laptop projects that I've done with my kids, where I've had laptops in the classroom. We piloted different things, and it's just amazing what they can do when they're given the opportunity. And um, we do a lot of publishing um, to create memory book kind of things, and um, it's just really neat to see what they can do. What is your favorite or most rewarding part of teaching? Um, my most rewarding part of teaching is, since I teach history, um, that light bulb connection that students have when they, when they understand and make the connection about something that's happened hundreds or maybe even with ancient history thousands of years ago and how it applies to the real world or how it applies to their daily lives. Bringing the study of history into the present, I think, is probably the most rewarding aspect of it for me. And being a first grade teacher, um, you know, the kids come in, many of them not feeling confident as readers, and by the end of the year, seeing just the spark that they have, that they are confident readers and that they um, are ready to move on. Um, the other rewarding thing that I have living in the district, um, getting to see, keep those connections with kids. I love when um, my kids graduate and I send them a letter and, you know, congratulate them and just seeing them around the community and just, you know, following them through the years. It's really neat to um, watch them grow up and move on. Is there anything else you would like to talk about before we wrap up? Um, I would just like to take a moment to thank everyone in my building and in the district that's supported me being recognized for this award. My, my building administrator, Dr. Rappert, and, and the many teachers, and of course my students who, without them and without their excitement in the classroom, I probably wouldn't be here. And I agree. I thank the district and um, the administration for nominating us and um, for believing in us. And for the students, it's just been a great um, tenure being here, and I, I love being a teacher. All right, thank you so much, both of you, for joining us today. Congratulations again to Mr. Warren and Ms. Barnhart for this tremendous honor. For the students helping to produce today's show and everyone here at Warrior TV, I'm Erica Thomas. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.